This is 11 things about me that people have been sending in and asking for um, for the film series. So here we go. So how did you begin filmmaking? I began as a kid. Um, very early on I started drawing and I would be drawing pictures and you know making different um, stories and things like that. I was always watching movies. In grade four I actually uh, I made my first play. There was a, a group that came to my school in primary school and they performed a pirate play. And what I did after that was um, I wanted to uh, make a play. So I wrote um, a play, it was a pirate play also, and we made this shark out of cardboard and everything like that and put it on for the class. And then the teacher liked it so much we put it on for a couple of the classes. And as they say, the, um, the acting bug hits. Um, I think there's an expression and an art inside everyone. Everyone really wants to share what they love doing and they want to share it with other people. And I think that's great because it really shows that what we want to do is we want to find what makes us happy and we want to share that with other people. So for me, at first it began with writing and plays and drawings and all types of creativity and these uh, types of things there. After that, I made a, um, a Batman short play. Um, which was a lot of fun. We put that on for the school. Moving into high school, um, I would, again, whilst at school I was writing short films, making short films with my friends on the weekends. We were always doing stunts, always jumping around, kicking, punching, doing fight scenes and things like that, mimicking, I guess, the movies and things that we saw um, and loved. Um, then through high school, after that, I started working at the cinema, and at the cinema I got the chance to... Um, or came up with the crazy ideas to put on live shows and things like that. So kind of, I carried over the things that I was doing and enjoying and loving from school into my work life as well. I was very lucky, I guess, that uh, um, I was able to work at the cinema where that type of thing was embraced and there was always different films and things coming out. So I would, um, we made a Zorro stunt show. I did a Star Wars Episode One stunt show for the midnight screening. Um, and there's nothing like that real audience, that enthusiasm and that, you know, excitement and things. We had people arriving, um, I think it's 7 o'clock for the midnight screening of Star Wars Episode One in 1999. I was 19 years old, just a young boy back then. And we had this epic um, lightsaber battle uh, with, and some stormtroopers and things. Now, I took two weeks off work so that I could do more work. And that kind of became a common habit, I guess. For me, it wasn't work. It was... Um, doing what I loved and in my spare time I was doing what I loved so that's how I began doing that type of thing at the cinema and then I was um, writing my first feature film which I made as well and then had the premiere for at the cinema um, and then I think it got to a point where I could go anywhere um, with cinema. It was great. I was given so many opportunities. Um, a boss who mentored me and trained me in the business side of things as well. Um, produced a show called VTV, which uh, was a celebrity show, um, which again, yeah, was an idea that I had um, to kind of be crossing over these things. But I guess it got to a point in 2005 where I had, I had thought, okay, well, I'm here. I'm being offered general manager positions and things like that and, and marketing and all those sorts of things were going on at the time. Um, all my time was full, so much so that I couldn't really get to train too much in my martial arts anymore. I think it got to a point in 2005 where I decided to step back and I said to my boss where I want to be in five years and I said making movies and it had been you know seven, eight, nine years so to speak. So I stepped back just to do some marketing and things that I could focus on what became the Ninja Universe and wrote the first draft in 2005 and um, went from there. Um, so things kind of really started going back to back to basics, back to what I was doing growing up. I was still doing marketing and things like that for the cinema. I was um, back to doing my martial arts and then it became all consuming. Um, and I think you'll find any type of artist or person you meet that um, does these sorts of things uh, goes 100%, 110% and more. It becomes an all consuming way of life or passion for them and for me, um, that's what it was, you know, if you're doing what you love, as they say, you're not working a day in your life, um, which is a cool saying.